In this video I will show you how you can easily downgrade from iOS 16 to iOS 15 without losing your data, as you can see, my device has got 63 videos and 136 pictures, and after the downgrade, the pictures and videos count remains the same. So without wasting any time, let's start. First let's go ahead and download and install iTunes for Windows from Apple's official website, launch any browser, and visit this website, link will be in description iTunes is available for both 32 and 64-bit Windows computer, so download as per your computer specifications. I will be downloading the 64-bit iTunes for my computer, do not download iTunes from the Microsoft Store. So once the iTunes is downloaded into your computer, you must set up the iTunes and then make sure to back up your iOS device, so that you can restore it, once the downgrade is complete. So connect your iOS device to your computer, and keep it connected throughout the tutorial. Make sure to select this computer, and also encrypt the backup. Encrypting backups requires you to select a password. Next click on backup now to start the backup process. While the backup is under process let's download the iOS 15 firmware. Search for iPhoneWiki.com. Link will be in description, head over to the website as shown on the video, and once you are on the website, just scroll down and look for beta firmware, which is located under software section, click on beta firmware, and on the next page, select your device which you want to downgrade, I will select my iPad Pro, now on the next page, under your device name, click on 15.x, and finally scroll down and look for 15.6 RC build only. No other build will work, so be very careful. This firmware has an exploit called Mac Dirty Cow, which can be used to apply jailbreak tweaks without jailbreak. Now once located, download the IPSW file as shown on the video. Meanwhile the IPSW file is downloading. Let me show you that iOS 15.6 RC build is signed for 212 days approx at the time of making this video, so you have plenty of time to downgrade the firmware. Next up, it's time to locate and modify the iTunes backup of our device, which we did earlier. How to locate backup folder is mentioned in this official Apple support page for Windows 8 or 10, but it also works for Windows 11. As mentioned, on the search bar, we have to either search with this, and if it does not locate any backup folder, then we have to try with this. Now let's first copy the first one and paste it on the search section of my computer, and see if it locates any backup folder or not. And as you can see, folder is located successfully, now click on the file folder, and then click on Apple computer, and then click on mobile sync, then backup folder, locate the backup folder, by checking the time and date of backup. Click on the folder, and scroll down until you find info.plist file, we will be modifying this file. So in order to modify, just right click on the file, and click on open with, and if you don't see the notepad option there, then click on choose another app, and finally select notepad from the options. Once you are on the notepad, just click on edit, and then click on find option, here on the search bar, type 16, and start the search by clicking the down arrow as shown on the video. Keep searching until you find something like this, which says product version, and also you can see that it says, 16.2, that is my current iOS version, this downgrade works on any iOS 16 version. Now replace the 16.2 with 15.0, and be very careful while doing that. Make sure you do not put any spaces before and after 15.0. Once the modification is done, click on file, and then click on save. Now close the window. The setup is done, and now let's restore the iOS 15.6 firmware, which we downloaded from iPhoneWiki.com. In order to do that, make sure your iOS device is connected to computer. Launch the iTunes app, and navigate to this section, where you can see your backup and restore options. Now in order to restore the iOS 15.6 firmware, press and hold down the shift key, and left click on, restore iPhone. Now navigate to the download folder where the firmware is downloaded, click on it, and then click on open. Now finally click on restore. It takes time to restore, I have fast forwarded the video to save time. If you get a prompt like this, just click on apply, and next click on restore. Now once the restoring process is over, you will see a prompt which says, that the restore is complete, and make sure to keep your device connected. Your Apple device will automatically restart, and you will see a black screen with Apple logo like this as shown on the video. After a while, 
your device restore process will get complete, and the device will boot up like this. Next up it's time to restore all the data, from the modified backup folder. Just disconnect and reconnect your device to the computer, so that iTunes app, detects your device, and once detected, a page like this will appear on the iTunes app, on your computer. Now all you need to do is select the backup for restoring. Now as you can see, the time and date indicates that it's my latest backup, so just select the backup, and click on continue, next, type the password for your backup which was set earlier for encrypting the backups. So after the restoration process is over, you will see a pop-up like this. Make sure not to disconnect your device from the computer. Your device will restart automatically and will finally boot up. Let me show you my iPad Pro. As you can see all the apps are being restored, and there is no loss of data as well. And let's move to the settings, and show the iOS version. And as you can see we have successfully downgraded to iOS 15.6, and the count of photos and videos remains the same. Now that you have downgraded, check my next videos for jailbreak tweaks without jailbreaking your device.